Hello friends, it's nice to have you. How are you doing? I hope you are doing very, very well. Today, we'll be looking at desire to serve. But before we go into that, I would like us to pray. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence to share your word. Holy Spirit, teach us your word in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so before we go into the word, let us quickly welcome the praise team to take us into a time of praise and worship. Put on your dancing shoes while we praise the Lord. See you right after the praise. Are you ready to praise God this morning? Are you ready to give Him praise today? Come on, I can't hear you. Are you ready to praise Him? Come on, let's praise Him together. We will sing of His mercy. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Do you know it? I need to be sure. Do you know this? Can we sing it together? Are you sure we can sing it together? Let's go. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Let me hear you say. Are you sure you know it? Do you need help? Come on, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're yes, sure now. Come on. Let's do it again one more time. I will sing. I will sing. Yeah. That's good. I love your voice. Yeah, I love the way you sound. And I'm sure God loves the way you sound too. Come on. Let's sing one more time again. I will sing. Let's do it this way. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord forever. I will clap. Come on. I will clap. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord forever. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord. Let me hear you sing. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord forever. Yes, we will clap to his goodness. Yes, we will clap. Come on. been good to I me and he has been good to you we will give him praise with our dance yes we will dance with my heart with my heart
give him praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Thy faithfulness to all generations. We will sing, we will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. We will sing. We will sing. We will sing. We will sing. We will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. We will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Jesus is my friend, oh, every day. Jesus is my friend, my friend, every day, oh. Jesus is my friend, and I seek to praise his name. Jesus is my friend, my friend, every day, oh. Jesus is my friend, my friend, every day. Jesus is my friend, my friend, every day, oh. Is he your friend? Jesus is my friend. Welcome back from the praise and worship. I hope you enjoyed it. For me, I had fun. It was really, really nice. All right, let's now go straight to our words. Our topic today is desire to serve. Desire to serve. And our theme for the month is living a life of service. Living a life of service is our theme for the month. What are today's topic is desire to serve. Our text will be taken from Exodus chapter 17 from verses 8 to 16. If you read it, it's a situation where the children of uh, Israel went on war with the Amalekites. And Moses chose Joshua to lead the war. Why was Joshua chosen? because Joshua had the desire to serve. He had faithfully served Moses. So when it was time to go for war, 
he had confidence in him because those, um, Joshua had actually served with him. Now, introduction says, remember that God takes us very seriously in his kingdom. Not size, not even age matters. What matters is, apart from worshipping God, we are put to this earth for a purpose. And that purpose is to serve. One of the reasons why we are on earth is for us to serve. As teenagers, it doesn't matter how young you may be, how old you may be, how big or how small you may be. God's primary purpose for us as teenagers is for us to serve. To serve God, to serve man, to serve humanity, and to serve our community. So the question now is this. Why should I desire to serve? Why should I desire to serve? I'll tell you why you should desire to serve. One, service makes me a great leader. If I serve, it shows that I am a great leader. How? When you serve people, people will learn to trust in you. They would like to follow you. So when you say, I want to do this, okay, this is the teenager that serves. Okay, let us follow him. He, he or she knows what he or she is talking about. That is why service makes you a great leader. Let's look at Jesus. As a leader, Jesus watched the feet of his disciples. Even when they refused that issue, he insisted that he would do it. He said because that is what makes him a leader. He brought water, brought it all, and asked them to sit down one after the other and started washing and drying their feet. It was significant to the fact that as a leader, you need to serve, and service makes you a leader. So I implore you as teenagers, if you want to be seen as a great leader, you need to serve. It's very important for us to understand that one of the things that make us great leaders is service. Go out there and serve. Serve your community, serve in your school, serve in your church, serve God and serve humanity. And you'll see that you will become a leader. Secondly, why should I desire, I desire again to serve? Service makes me find favor before God and man. When you serve God, God will favor you. When you serve man, man will also favor you. If you look at the book of Nehemiah, from chapter 2, from verses 4 to 6, you will see that at a point, Nehemiah so served the king that the king actually loved him and he was willing to do anything for him. So even when Nehemiah went to ask the king that he needed to go and build the wall, what happened? The king agreed. He did not only agree, he also gave him everything that he needed to do his job. And God also favored him. Why? Because Nehemiah was a faithful man. He served faithfully. So there is need for you as teenagers, if you really want to receive favor from God and from man, then you should desire to serve. Desire means having the hunger in you to do a thing, to serve. Once you create that hunger in you, then God will give you an opportunity to serve. And once you serve in any capacity, definitely God is going to favor you. Also, man too will favor you. The same way Nehemiah was favored because he served the king faithfully. And that's the same way too you will be favored if you also serve God and serve humanity faithfully. Thirdly, why should I desire to serve? Service helps me to gain experience. When you serve, you learn and when you learn you know and the more you know and do you know more it will increase your experience so when you when you are told to serve as teenagers don't just see it as what is the need for me no ask yourself 
if I do this, will I learn from it? Yes, I will learn. And as I continue doing it, I'll keep learning and also increasing my experience. Just like even Joshua. Joshua served Moses with all his strength and might. He learned from Moses and Moses chose him to lead Israel. Isn't it not interesting? You know, because of his service, he acquired more experience. And because of his experience, he was chosen to lead. You see, first time I said, service makes you a great leader. Why? Because of dedication. Because of continuous service, you get more experience. As you get more experience, you will be favored. And as you become favored, you will be chosen to lead. Just like how uh, Moses chose Joshua to lead. So, as teenagers, one of the easiest ways, you know, to get experience and to lead is for you to serve. Like I said earlier, don't ask yourself what is in it for me if I serve. Ask yourself what will I learn from it? What will be the outcome of my serving God and serving humanity? At the end of the day, you realize that there is so much for you to gain. So for me, as a teacher in Ristas, it's a service. I teach in Ristas, I teach in Junior Church. It's a service. I prepare the outline. It's also a service. I'm also a cell leader. It's a service. I'm a section leader. It's a service. I'm an area coordinator. It's a service. I do all these things. Not that I'm paid. I'm doing it because God created me to serve. Even where I stay in my estate too, I also offer free service to them in my estate. And the more I do this, the more I learn, the more it makes me a leader, the more it makes people to trust me, what makes people to want to favor me, it always makes people to know that ah, this person, I know this person says this, let us follow him because he knows what he's talking about, because he's always willing to serve. So I implore teenagers, learn to have that desire to serve. And the more you serve, the more... Look at uh, the case of uh, um, Joseph. Even while he was in prison, he was still serving. So not even, not, nothing can stop you from you know, rendering your service once you have the desire. Desire, like I said, is the hunger in you to give service. And once you create that hunger in you, then God will now create the opportunity for you to serve. All right, so um, before we go into our conclusion, let me try and recap what I just I said. When you desire to serve, one, it makes you a great leader. Then, like Moses, um, like Moses chose um, Joshua to lead the war against the Amalekites. When you also uh, um, serve to, it will also give you favor, like Nehemiah was favored by the king, and also God also favored him. And also, when you serve, it will give you more experience. So if I were in your shoes, I would go all out to serve. Service is one of the best ways to get favor from God and from man. So my conclusion is, service to God and success in life require determination. You need to be determined to say, you know what, I want to serve. I want the desire to serve. Focus and dwelling on the Word of God. So it is also the Word of God that will create that hunger in you. Again, because your human nature, we are always selfish, always what is the need for me. But when you focus on the Word of God, then that desire to serve will be there. Then secondly, we must be courageous to do the right thing. That means be courageous to serve. The first one I'll be telling you, peer pressure. Why do you want to serve? Why do you want to sweep the church? You're a big boy. You're a big girl. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to join Nehemiah? They clean the, to the toilet. For what? You don't do that. No. You tell them, no. I want to serve because God has created me to serve. Against all odds. Because sometimes when you want to serve, it's, and it's a free service. For what? What will you gain from it? It does not matter what anybody says about what you gain from it. What matters is what God thinks. What does God think? God doesn't only think. He also has created you to serve. So go all out to serve, no matter what the position may be. 
Then the third one is there is a sure reward for faithful stewardship. There's a sure reward for faithful stewardship. You can see how eventually how Joshua was rewarded. After Moses passed on, Joshua was actually told to take over from Moses. Why? Because he served faithfully. Just, uh, Moses saw his faithfulness in service, which was why he had to recommend him for, serve, uh, for, for leadership. So I implore all of you, please go all out to serve. I can tell you my own experience. I've been serving God for so many years. I serve in church. I serve in my, in my neighborhood. I serve everywhere. And I know what has benefited for me. I also want you to also benefit from me too. You have seen all we have mentioned regarding you know, what you gain by serving. And these things are real. Imagine when you are serving and God himself is in position to say, look, I want to favor my child. Imagine that it's a privilege you know, to be chosen by God to say, I want to favor you. And that is what I'm enjoying. I also want you to enjoy that. All right, so we're going to end it here for now. And then next time we'll continue in the series. So if you have actually, uh, if you are ready to have the desire to serve, the very first step is for us to give our lives to Jesus Christ. We need Christ in our lives to be able to, you know, do this because it's not by our own strength. It's not. It's by the grace and mercy of God. So if you are here today and you have not given your life to Christ, that is the very first step into service. Just kindly put your right hand on your chest and repeat after me. Again, if you are here today, you are here to give your life to Christ, Kindly put your right hand on your chest and repeat after me. If also you've given your life to Christ before and you have somehow backslided, you can also do the same. So just say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I give my life to you. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Wash me and make me new again in Jesus' name. Let me quickly pray for you. Lord, I want to thank you for your children that have made up their mind to give their lives to you. Lord, we ask that you will help them to walk in this newness of life and also, Lord, create in them the desire to serve in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, great. That's awesome. This shows now that you are ready to serve. God will continue to strengthen you to walk in this newness of life in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we have come to the end of our word today. My prayer is that God will continue to guide you and help you to serve in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Have a very wonderful day. Bye.